Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumb Asses. This episode is going to be part of our Cuddy Link digital camera system. We're going to be exploring uh, several different uh, facets to the to this camera system. We appreciate you joining us. And make sure you stay with us to the end of uh, the video because we've got a video challenge that we want to make sure that you're attuned with. Again, thanks for watching. Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors with Two Dumb Asses. Hi, Joel. It's been a couple of weeks since we've got together. Uh, what do we got going on today? Yeah, we're going to do a product review, it sounds like, in this episode. So I'm excited about that. You've uh, you've done an, a significant investment, so I'm, I'm, I'm just here to, to watch you open your Christmas presents, I guess. You know, you and Joe have been saying, it's like I'm your guys' guinea pig, so I don't know if that's a good thing I've got. My wife's cousin's kind of my guinea pig, but uh, yeah, I've invested in a uh, Cuddy Link uh, digital camera system. So big investment. If any of you've been out looking at these, they're they're not cheap. But uh, um, I'm super excited, and what we're going to do today is just do a quick unboxing on the package that I bought, and then we'll talk about a couple other little things about what we're thinking about. Yeah, quick question for you is, so you've got, you've get, literally got a couple boxes back here in the room of, of uh, trail cameras. And then I know recently you've, you've dabbled in some cell cameras. Why, why the, uh, I'm just interested in the, the logic behind why, you, why you're in, into the cutting links. So my goal is really, uh, I know that I'm bumping deer all the time when I go out. My property is really hard to approach just to, by the way it's laid out uh, to go out and check cameras without them seeing you since we have so much edge. And so with that, I've been trying to figure out, hey, how can I get to some of my primo spots set up so that I'd never have to go out there? And I know what's out there and the deer feel safe. And when I go out there, it's, it's virgin hunting. Okay, I get it. Makes sense. I mean, that makes a lot of sense, really, right? So enter, in, enter and exit strategies and uh, cool. And, right. it's not, and it's not like uh, for, there's some folks who think, gosh, you know, you shouldn't use trail cameras. And I mean, it's, it's, is it real time? It's real time. But I have to go to a home camera to get it, to make it home real time. So it's really not. Okay. Yeah, maybe we should talk about that. So how, did the, how does this Cutty Back Link system work? Just high level. So it's basically, as I understand it, is it, think about your Christmas lights, right? So as you take your Christmas lights, um, the old Christmas lights, not these uh, LED ones. And as you have your string, if in fact one of them goes out, uh, those downstream from where that, that burned out light is also will go out. So when you go to set up your cameras, you are basically setting up a daisy chain, if you will, of linkages so that these cameras stay connected. And as I understand it, it's really you're setting up what's called a local area network. And so um, and with that, you have a home camera that's basically sending out the signal and a home camera can be either um, a camera or you buy a home camera itself. I may be getting a little bit ahead of myself, but but that's that's what I've purchased in the Y. Yeah, we've we've got some pictures that you know as we're talking to this. Hopefully, we we've got a visual up in our podcast here that um, I think Cuddy Back does a good job of uh, uh, creating a photograph of what they're calling their their network. Yeah, I think really that's good. a great word word for it. Is it's a net camera network, right? Yeah. So cool. All right. Where do we get a Where do we get a start? All right. Well, let's. Let's start with let's start with the home system. So none of these boxes have been opened, uh, so you're going to see it for the first time, just like we are. The only thing that I've done is I've cut the tape so that we could get into them fairly easily. And, and while you're opening that, Tim, just so I understand it, this home uh, system is kind of the endpoint of the network, 
all the cameras communicate to this unit and then that's where the SD card is where all the information is saved. Yes. Okay. And so basically this is a, it's a home system. Uh, I believe, let me double check this. So it opens up, you've got your, your buttons here. Again, there's no batteries in it just yet. But what this is, is basically your home camera is basically a repeater that's sending out signals all the time so that your cameras are connected. So as my understanding, I have a neighbor up the road who's, who's had those that these things do require a lot of power, which makes sense, right? I mean, hey, I'm creating a local area network and I, you know, you know, if you, any guys are fans of Ron White, you got the dee 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 dee, you know, and it's it's constantly uh, beeping out to the other cameras in your network, and that takes a lot of energy. So they have a battery pack system you can put in here. I've chosen not to go that route. Uh, so we're going to talk more about that in a second. But that's that's the repeater the home camera and you know this is really the first time you see them they're pretty they're, they seem to be built pretty well pretty beefy it's pretty heavy isn't it yeah so, and uh so that's the antenna that screws in up top here yep and uh so antenna and then it's also got this quick disconnect you basically put this on strap it on you can screw it on do whatever you want and then these cameras basically slide right on here and then if you want to take the camera off, you just take it off right there. Oh, so that you can strap it on or, or you can uh, use that. That's that's where this clip comes in in these two. two well, parts. so you strap this on. OK. Uh -huh. And then this fits. This fits right right through here. Got it. And let's let's show. So what this will do, this this connector right here will just slide right through there. Really, Got it. really slick. Oh, interesting. And then it comes with, uh, so in this box, we had the home camera, an antenna, and then their quick disconnect system. So, and then obviously the manual. All right. So let's throw that in there. So let's talk to the four pack. So you have these four packs. If you go out there online, uh, you're going to see that, that these are 750 bucks. And Cuddy Link looks like they... They do a or cutty back. It looks like they do a really good job from their standpoint of maintaining price point. So if you go out and shop around, you, you're not going to see them any cheaper than this. So it's seven hundred and fifty dollars. However, uh, you might be able to find special deals, and those special deals would be add-ons. And so the deal I found was, um, and I'm, I'll show this back as well. I think you're going to reference it later. Um, the one thing with these Cuddy Links, and the deal that I got was, is hey, if you buy a four pack, they'll throw in three solar panels for free, which is like a hundred and eighty dollar value. And I uh, remember we were talking about those batteries, uh, and how they they can eat these like candy um, because of the dee 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 dee. Anyway, what what's happening is. I needed something. If you're going to invest in these cameras, I think you, if you're going to invest in this type of a technology, you're going to go in all the way. Don't just say, hey, I'm just going to go batteries and I can't afford the, the solar panels because I don't think you're going to be happy with them. So if you're going to go this step, go the next step to make sure that, that you're covered. So, so with that, Tim, however, I mean, we're going to do this episode. There's going to be several other episodes as you go down this journey using this technology. So Right now, you don't have enough solar panels for all your cameras, so you're going to get a good feel for, you know, how effective the solar panels are and or how much energy some of these cameras without a solar panel are going to eat up, right? Yep. And we'll share that in, we'll share that in some future episodes. For sure. Yeah. Cool. So, we're going to come back to the solar panels here in a second. So, let's do the unboxing here. And the other nice thing is, is these are black flash. They... They're 20 megapixel cameras. Um, they've they've just got a lot of capability. Can turn it this way. Yeah. Slide it right out of the table. We don't drop it. So 
So in this camera, or in this box, which what we're getting is, is you got the four antennas, uh, you got the four disc, quick disconnects, and it also comes with uh, four cameras. So that's what you get in this box, plus the operator manual. And again, I have not, I have not, this is the first time opening these, but uh, um, I wanted to share this with you and it's with Joel, and uh, we're gonna go down this journey together. Well, you're going to be reading through this manual for a while. That's a pretty thick one there, buddy. So good luck with that. But yep. that's cool. Looks well, like it's well set up at least. Well, we're going to make it simple, hopefully, good. with for good. you, the users. Keep this set right here. So the next, the next thing that I purchased was, and again, this is what came with this, and there weren't very many places that had this deal to where, hey, if you buy buy the camera set, you get the free solar panels. And again, this is like a $180 value. I think I've got one of these that's open. So like I said, I've got three of these, but here's something that's super cool about this is, is so you have this solar panel, but then it's got in the solar panel, the solar panel's got a built-in uh, rechargeable battery bank. And it looks like they're double A's. And you can actually add another bank if you want to uh, for that, for that uh, solar charger. And then that solar panel is a polycrystalline uh, solar panel. They claim on the, on the box that it will actually even charge in the shade, which is going to be pretty good. I mean, we're putting these on the fringe of forest, right? So really going to be really important. And then the other thing, as you go in here, you have your camera which has a battery pack in it. Way this is set up is, is it will automatically use your solar first. And if it's down to a point to where uh, it can't power the camera, it will pull from your battery bank in your camera. Really smart technology. So I believe that these solar panels are gonna help us. So now let's go, let's talk this next thing. Let's. And again, this is just thinking out loud here. I haven't done this, but those cameras that are going to be the most pulling of energy are going to be those that are closest to your home camera. What, why is that? So it's always going to be sending and receiving from one of the cameras, depending on how you construct your local area network or your daisy chain, if you will. Uh, so it... it, it Depending on how you set your network up, it could be like a spider web where it's home to camera, home to camera, or it could be camera to camera to home, or camera to camera to camera to home. Right. Okay. So I think those cameras on the end of your network, not the opposite end of your home camera, those are the cameras that may not require um, a solar panel. More to come on that. We're going to certainly test that, but um, I think you're, the ones that are closest to your home camera or your repeater, you're absolutely going to need some sort of solar panel if you're going to achieve your goal of not getting into the forest. So we're going to be testing that this spring and this winter just to get a good feel for how these cameras work so when we get into next fall, we're ready to go. Do we get to open it up? Oh yeah, we got to open it up. Yeah, Christmas. So these solar panels, I'm pretty excited about. They look really well made. Huh. Again, so it comes with a operating manual. Here's the uh, here is the solar panel and then it's got an opening it's a standard opening just like they've got for all the cameras so you can use that same quick disconnect i believe i bet you could use that same quick disconnect on on your tree if you wanted to um, the battery is going to be in the back i'm not going to take this apart it comes with connection cable uh, looks like it's got a couple of connection cables and an adapter and then something to connect it to the tree. So pretty much that's that's what comes in this box. And again, I bought it from, uh, I'll put the vendor in. I don't have it right off the top of my head. But I'll put that in this video. 
these guys got it to me within four days, shipped it right to me, and they were the only people out there that had that deal where they were giving you a bonus uh, solar panels. And we'll include, <clears throat> um, we don't need to go through all the specs and stuff on the, on yeah. the camera, but we'll include those um, in the episode too when we get it on video. It'd be easy just to write it in there or have it have it up above here or whatever. So this um, is their sil silver <laughs> series, black flash, pretty excited. It's pretty neat. I mean, first thing I notice on all of it is, is compared to just regular trail cameras. I mean, that's, that's beef. That's it really heavy. It's got it's, some girth to it. It does. It's, it's got some sturdiness to it. So, um, interesting, interesting. Cool. You know, I, the one thing I didn't do for these cameras, I guess I didn't illustrate same, same as the home camera, uh, the repeater, it's got the same buttons and menu very simple from cutting back cameras are known for being very simple and uh, so i'm excited to get get into this so with that i mean yeah i mean tim what do you think about this is because this is going to be a journey <laughs> this is just the beginning of the journey right yeah and uh what if we created a special playlist just for the cutting back link series we'll call it the cutting back link series We'll also include it in the tips and tricks uh, playlist, and then we'll also include it in a trail camera playlist. So if you folks want to, uh, it'll make this easier for you folks uh, trying to Find stay it. with us on our journey mm -hmm. um, to look up that playlist. And That's we'll, a great idea. Yeah, we'll add some cards in there and make it as easy as we can. But uh, I'm excited to be part of the journey here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm even more excited that I didn't have to dish out the money <laughs> <clears throat> to go on the journey with you. But uh, I am excited, excited for you, and we'll see where this goes. All right. Yeah. Until next time, be, be safe, safe, have fun, and, and get outdoors. <clears throat> Hi, my name is Blue. As my daddy stated at the beginning of this episode, the video challenge is to subscribe to this channel and click the additional episodes using the cards. Be safe, have fun, and get outdoors. Thanks for listening or watching our show. We have some exciting topics and guests coming up. We ask that you subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We look forward to hearing your suggestions for topics, questions, and comments. This is Two Dumbasses signing off. Until next time, be, be safe, safe, have, have fun, fun, and, and get, get outdoors. outdoors. Nose Jammer contains vanillin and other natural aromatic compounds that have the ability to effectively jam an animal's sense of smell. Just like an overly bright light can wash out a photographic image, Nose Jammer overwhelms the olfactory system and overpowers an animal's ability to detect and track human scent. Hunting in the wrong wind? Jam them with Nose Jammer. Iowa Missouri Hybrids has been a family-owned business since the 1930s. Located in historic Keosauqua, Iowa, Aaron and his team are a one-stop shop for farmers, hunters, and landowners. For your conservation program, CRP, food plots, and all planting needs, give Aaron at IMH a call and tell him the two dumbasses sent you. Established in 1934, Pete and Shorty's is located on Main Street, Clarksville, Iowa. Pete and Shorty's is famous for their half-pound burgers, hand-breaded tenderloins, and homemade pizza. The beer is always cold, and the Bloody Marys are the best in town. Stop in and tell Mike and Amy that the two dumbasses sent you.